If you're a casual Firestick user, you must be tired of those endless ads in the applications or in a web browser, if you're using a web browser on your Firestick. So today I'll show you a couple of ways to get rid of the majority of those intrusive ads. And first of all, as usually, we'll have to get an app called Unloader. If you already have it in your device, of course you can use it, but if you don't have it yet or you're not sure how to properly use it and set it up, then watch this part of the video as well. So you can get the loader for free from the official Amazon App Store. Just go to search and start typing the loader here. And as you can see, it already popped out for us at the bottom. Click on it. And here's the application which we need to download. And after we get the downloader, we also have to set it up. To do so, we'll go to settings. Scroll down until you see My Fire TV. Open it. And here we'll have to enable developer options for your Fire Stick. However, on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new ones, the developer options might be hidden by default. So, if that's the case, if you cannot find developer options anywhere, no need to worry. It's really easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times. And do it fast. So, let's do it. As you can see, now the bottom for me it says no need, you are already a developer, that's in my case. In your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now, so if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options. So open them, at this point make sure to enable ADB debugging, then we'll go to install unknown apps, and turn that option on for the loader. Here it is. Make sure that this option stays on, and what it does, it allows us to install other applications from the internet, and not necessarily from the limited Amazon App Store. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So let's go to the list of applications on your device. And here is the loader which we just got. However, before proceeding further, there's one more thing which I really recommend. It's of course connecting to a VPN. And in my opinion, the best option for that is NordVPN. They have a great app for Fire Sticks or any other device you may use, be it a laptop, mobile phone, your PC or anything else, they have an app for that. They have thousands of different servers and they're not expensive. And most importantly, if you use my link in the description below this video or in a pinned comment, you get 4 months of NordVPN totally for free. Which is a great deal. I believe you always should use a VPN, especially if you're downloading something from the internet, especially via adult applications or any live TV players, because you never really know who the real developers of those apps are what they are doing with your data, and of course you even shouldn't trust your ISP provider, because they might be tracking you as well and spying on you. So get NordVPN, use my link in the description of this video, get 4 months totally for free, and let's proceed with the video. So open the loader, and here we'll have to type blockada.org, I'll show you how it looks on the screen. So you can see the URL now on the screen make sure to enter it exactly as I did, and then press on Go. So Blockada is an application which allows you to block the majority of ads you see on a Fire Stick or any Android device. So let's click on the load, scroll down a bit here, and there's the Blockada 5 APK button. Click on it, and now the load has started. Then just click on Install in the right bottom corner, and after that, instead of clicking open, we'll have to press on done, and we're doing it this way to delete the installation file, because we don't need it anymore, but it clogs the memory of your Fire Stick. So after the loading applications, make sure to always delete the installation files. Click on delete, and delete once again. Now let's go to the list of apps on your device, and here's the Blockada app which we just unloaded. Let's open the application. And as you can see, the layout here doesn't look that great, mostly because it is meant for Android devices, Android phones, and not for TV. But while the interface is not so great, it still works just as fine as on any mobile device. However, what you have to do and what you have to get is a mouse toggle device. Sorry, mouse toggle application. Here it is. Basically, what is mouse toggle? It's an application which allows you to use a mouse cursor on any application on a Fire Stick. So I will not show you how to set up a mouse toggle for now, because I already have a tutorial for that on my channel, so I will just leave a link for that in the description of this video or on the screen when this video ends. 
So either click the link in the description or the link on the screen. And now when I have a mouse cursor, I can click on the activate button. As you can see, it says just one more step. Blockada is using a VPN configuration. So what it actually means, the Blockada is going to have its own VPN connected through your device. It's a necessary step to block the ads from appearing on your device. However, what it means is that you will not be able to use any other VPN while Blockada is active. So when you understand that, click on continue. Then a connection request is going to pop up. We'll have to press on OK. And then it will say that Blockada is active. That blue ring, which you can see, means the Blockada application is active and is blocking ads on your device. And that's it. That's how you can set up an ad blocker for your Fire Stick.